Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So Sheds approached me and asked me which of their lights I would like to review. And so I chose this one. This is a moving head that has an LED source and it's 160 watts. And it's a beam, a wash, and a spot. So hybrids just intrigue me so much. They are just so much fun to program that you can like play with the different shapes of beams in the air. And so these are perfect for theaters, for parties, for weddings, for clubs, for concerts, and school dances. I was intrigued by this because this packs a punch in such a small package. And this thing is only 350 bucks. And that's not even including the sales that Sheds is constantly having. And shipping takes about 15 to 28 days from the time you place your order. And so these have hard cases available, but I just use Rockville bags. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So you get a manual, a PowerCon cable, a DMX cable, a couple of mounting brackets, which I'll show you in just a few moments. And we have our moving headlight. All right, we have our moving head light right here. It's not exactly small, but it's not exactly big. It's somewhere in the middle. Unboxed, it weighs 16.5 pounds. And so with the moving head down, it's about 13.8 inches tall, and about 16 inches tall when it's up. It's about 10 inches from handle to handle and eight inches deep. So this is made of a temperature resistant plastic, which is why it is so light. As far as like durability, that is yet to be seen. And it has a 160 watt LED source, so it's pretty bright. The color wheel has nine colors. The beam has 10 gobos, including the open one, and the rotating spot has seven gobos, including the open. It includes one six-face prism. It includes a frost filter to create a wash. So it can pan the usual 540 degrees, but this only tilts 190 degrees opposed to 270, which makes it a little bit hard to point down when it's in totem mode like this. This features a focus and a zoom, and the motorized zoom goes anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees. And in my opinion, for it to be truly a true hybrid i would expect the beam angle to go down to like three to four degrees opposed to 10 being the narrowest beam it can produce 10 degrees is still kind of within spot territory a narrow spot but still a spot and so with the prism on it's anywhere from 22 to 42 degree beam angle on this mover it has a couple of handles like this which is really nice because you can use these handles to strap it on top of a totem and you have this this logo right here LED spot, 160 watt moving head light. Also on the sides it says LED pattern light. On the front you have your LCD screen as well as four buttons and a couple of LED indicators to let you know when you're connected to DMX or if there's an error. On the back we have an on and off switch which is characteristic for sheds movers. Power con in and daisy chainable power out. DMX in and DMX out with three pins. On the bottom, we have these rubber feet, so you can put this on top of like the floor or a totem. So we have like these quick lock connectors on the bottom. These are pretty easy. So you just put it right in there and you twist it like a quarter turn. And just like that, you do it on both sides. A bit longer to boot up than other fixtures I've used. To access the menu, you click hit right here. And then you'll see there's these different options at the bottom. So there's like set. And you can choose like the different mode. There's like DMX, sound active mode, random mode, auto mode. I like DMX. You can choose the DMX address. You can choose like the different type of channel mode, which is only 18. So really not really a choice. Um, you can do some advanced settings like top LED, temperature, sound regulator. You can invert the pan, invert the tilt pan tilt swap. So some like advanced menu options that we probably don't need in most situations. And so in no DMX signal, like what do you want it to do? I suggest keep, but there also is the option to black it out. You can choose whether your display is on. And so there is a manual menu where you can adjust each one of these parameters individually. So if you wanted to just like set it and forget it for a certain scene and you don't have like a controller with you, you could do that as well. Then you can look at the different like specs, like how many hours this has been running. So if you ever buy one of these used, you can look at that. But yeah, that's basically the menu. So let's get into the demo.
about this light. This light has like an entry level price, but it has features competing with some of the higher end lighting fixtures. Lighting fixtures that are well over $1,000. You know, with like the frost filter and the motorized zoom, the focus, two sets of gobo wheels. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And of course, this is really bright. This is gonna be a lot brighter than any entry level fixture out there. If I had to compare this to like Chauvet, this isn't trying to compete with like the 110 series. This is more trying to compete with like a 300 or even a 400 series light. I think that the gobos built in are cool. It has several multicolored gobos, which I like. It uses PowerCon, which I also like. It has an on and off switch, which for some reason I like. And I really like the size, like it's only 16 pounds, so it's not quite as heavy as some of those other lights I mentioned, like the Chauvet 300 series or my Intimidator hybrids. A lot of those lights are well over 30 pounds. So some of the things that I didn't like about this light, and some of these may seem very nitpicky, but I still wanna include them in this video. The light doesn't really point down, like pointing straight across while on top of a totem is about as down as it can go. So that's a little frustrating. Not so much an issue if you're gonna be hanging this upside down on a truss. The narrowest beam is 10 degrees, which is not really a beam in my opinion. I would want it to be a little bit narrower of an angle. It can be a little bit noisy. And the advertising page for this on Shed's website is extremely helpful. I just wish the manual was as helpful. I was having to constantly refer to the advertising page program like the various gobos and whatnot. All of that said, you're only paying like 300 bucks for this thing, so I can't really complain too much. But overall, I like this light. I was looking for something that's more of a medium-sized mover, something that is bright, but something that isn't over 30 pounds. And I think this fits that criteria pretty well. So what do you think? Have you tried this mover? Let me know what you think down below, and please smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.